Hi friends, this is a very short video on difference between DNA methylation and histone acetylation. Both are epigenetic changes. Epigenetic changes are changes or modifications that influence gene expression without changing the DNA sequence. So, there is no change in DNA sequence, but gene expression is either turned on or turned off by means of epigenetic changes. Classical examples include DNA methylation and histone acetylation. Now, let us see the difference. DNA methylation, as the word suggests, it is a methylation of DNA. Methyl group is added to the DNA to the cytosine residues. So this is DNA to the cytosine residue. As you see here, methyl group is added. Exactly this is happening. At the fifth carbon position, methyl group is added. It becomes 5-methyl cytosine. The enzyme involved is DNA methyl transferase. Whereas histone acetylation is the acetylation or addition of acetyl groups to the lysine residues of the histones. Histones are proteins on which the DNA is wrapped around. You can see this is the histone, histone octamer, to which the DNA is wrapped around. So a still group is added to the lysine residue of histone protein. The enzyme involved is histone acetyl transferase. By means of DNA methylation, chromatin condensation happens so that transcription factors may not have access to the promoter site, thus gene expression is suppressed or genes are switched off by means of DNA methylation. Whereas histone acetylation causes relaxation of chromatin so that transcription factors can bind to the promoter region easily, thus enhances gene expression or genes are turned on by means of histone acetylation. DNA methylation is a semi-reversible process that means demethylation. To remove this methyl group, it's an active process. Classical example is X chromosome inactivation. During embryonic development in females, as you know, there are two X chromosomes. One of the X chromosomes is inactivated primarily by means of DNA methylation. Whereas histone acetylation is a reversible process where acetyl groups are added or removed dynamically. So histone acetylation causes relaxation of the chromatin leading to gene expression or genes are turned on. Examples include acetylation of K9 and K27 on histone H3. It's associated with enhancers and promoters of active genes. And finally, let me summarize these two. The methylation of DNA actually causes nucleosomes to pack together so that transcription factors, as you see, cannot bind to the site or the promoter so that gene expression is turned off. Whereas by means of histone acetylation that results in relaxation of the chromatin so that transcription factors can bind and causes gene expression or genes are turned on. Hope you are clear with the difference between DNA methylation and histone acetylation. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.